Time now to take a look at today's papers with Alison Sargent. Hi, Alison. Hi, Jeannie. Lots of focus today, obviously, on the situation of in Myanmar with that military coup. That's right. We can start uh, with papers in neighboring Thailand, where the Bangkok Post is not mincing words on their front page. Uh, my, Myanmar military stages coup, a very clear front page headline from, their, from them here. Uh, in their editorial, the paper writes that these are dark days for Myanmar, which has effectively returned to repressive military rule, in their words, ending the process of becoming a democracy. Uh, the paper notes that the army insists that their seizure of power was legal, but the Bangkok Post is not convinced by this. They ask, if it wasn't a coup, then what was it? Uh, it's worth noting also, Jeannie, that the Bangkok Post is having a much stronger response than the Thai government did, which called the um, situation just an internal affair. Uh, meanwhile, Chinese paper, the Global Times, is expressing concern as well, but the concern is more about stability than democracy. The paper suggests in its editorial that democracy might actually not not be the best way for Myanmar to achieve stability. The Global Times writes that democratic elections were far from enough to fully resolve the friction between Myanmar's military and civilian government, as well as the country's ethnic conflicts. Uh, the paper also accuses the West of forcefully advocating its electoral system and seeing what happened as a de facto coup, which the paper here doesn't think it was. Right. And speaking of the West, of course, there has been pretty unanimous condemnation from them. There has. A French paper, La Croix, headlines that Myanmar has returned to dictatorship dictatorship on their front page. Uh, the paper writes that the country has been plunged back into the, quote, nightmare of the years of its military rule. Uh, in a cartoon from Morton Moreland of The Times over in the UK, we see the army general celebrating, being showered in confetti that you'll notice is uh, made up of ripped up ballots. Uh, he has a medal there on him, chest uh, on his chest, uh, shaped like Aung San Suu Kyi. Um, According to The Independent, though, another paper out of the UK, a leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, will be finding less sympathy in the West than she once did. And the paper says she has only herself to blame for it. Now, we see the reason why in this cartoon by Brian Adcock, uh, which is illustrating the paper's editorial today, uh, the general uh, locking up Aung San Suu Kyi and then throwing away the key into a trash can, alongside which we see a newspaper with the headline, Aung San Suu Kyi rejects genocide, claims that genocide they're referring to, of course, a being of me and Myanmar's Rohingya Muslims. And Allison, just before we leave Myanmar, you wanted to show us a very surreal moment from the military coup on Monday. That's right. This is a video filmed by a fitness instructor that inadvertently captured the moment uh, that uh, the military convoy arrived at the country's parliament complex to detain lawmakers. Uh, the Guardian writes that the moment has gone viral and drawn comparisons uh, to the dystopian TV show Black Mirror. Uh, it is very surreal, uh, Jeannie, and I'll let all of you guys uh, see for yourselves. <laughs> So you can see it's a pretty surreal moment, um, and this is a real video. This woman is a physical education teacher. Her name is a King Hinin Y, and she posted on Facebook saying that she's been filming dance videos in this location for 11 months. Um, unsurprisingly, people have made spoofs of this video, uh, inserting her into other historic scenes, uh, such as the storming of the U.S. Capitol. Hmm. All right. Let's leave uh, Myanmar now to look on some other look at some other stories that are making a lot of headlines today. The Guardian is reporting that journalists in India are facing criminal charges for reporting on a police shooting. That's right. This shooting uh, actually occurred last week during India's farmer protests. Uh, you might remember that one protester was killed. Well, police say that he died when his tractor overturned. But as we read in The Guardian, there is photographic and video evidence, as well as a post-mortem report, that indicate that this man was actually shot in the head at least once. Now, the paper writes that attempts by the Indian media to report this story have faced a, quote, draconian crackdown. Uh, nine journalists who wrote about this shooting or tweeted about it have had charges filed against them. Hmm. All right, just to wrap up now, Allison, uh, something for all of us out there who perhaps dream of going into space but just don't have the millions you need to actually do it. Tell us. Well, just last week we were talking about uh, a group of billionaires who were each paying 55 million euros to go into space. But finally, Jeannie, there is a space opportunity for the rest of us. Uh, this one, though, also depends on a billionaire. Uh, as the New York Times reports, a man named Jared Isaacman, who was 37 years 
hours old, uh, is chartering a rocket and spacecraft from SpaceX for a three to four day trip. Uh, the trip is to raise money for cancer research. Two of the seats on the flight will be given to people from the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, uh, which treats children free of charge. The other seat is going to be raffled off to someone totally at random. Uh, now to enter the raffle, you don't have to donate to the hospital, but each dollar that you do donate uh, gets you 10 entries. So you have a much better chance of winning the raffle if you do donate. Uh, the only fine print I should mention is you do have to be a US a citizen or a legal permanent resident to enter, which is not a problem for us, Jeannie, but might be too bad for some of our viewers. Hopefully a more internationally minded billionaire will come forward and offer a space trip for everyone. They should. That's a fantastic initiative. I would buy a couple dollars. Yeah, right. To get Why a not? Let's Why enter not? for our chance. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Allison Sargent, with that look at today's press review.